Hello guys, this is Sai Charan again from Tech Deep Dive. Uh, today we will see about uh, what is SFDX and uh, how to start your uh, uh, development with SFDX and uh, what are the advantages of using SFDX in a series of videos. So as uh, today uh, we will see about how to install uh, Salesforce CLI and uh, Visual Studio Code and how to start with uh, SFDX. So what exactly SFDX? Uh, SFDX is a modern tool for building Salesforce applications, uh, which uses Salesforce CLI. Previously, we were using force.com migration tool and uh, uh, Salesforce CLI is exact the extension of force.com migration tool. Uh, Salesforce CLI is, has every capability force.com migration tool has and, uh, and have the extra features uh, for the SFDX and it allows Salesforce developers to carry out the source driven development. So we, we will be using a Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code will come with a, a Git repository, which is source control. Uh, so we'll be using that also. And uh, here th there are two terms which mainly we will be hearing. One is Dev Hub and a Scratch Org. What exactly a Dev Hub is? A Dev Hub is a main Salesforce org that you and your team uses to create and manage your Scratch Orgs. So not to worry, uh, we will we will go and see what exactly the Dev Hub and a Scratch Org. A Scratch Org is a dedicated configurable short-term Salesforce environment that you can quickly spin up uh, when starting a new project or a new feature branch or a feature test. Uh, uh, as you can say, uh, Scratch Org is mainly for, uh, you know, developing a, a feature test or new project like what, what is displaying on the screen. And for mainly for the POC purposes, uh, you can use the Scratch Org. And there is a great white paper uh, here, uh, which I will be providing in the description. You can go through this one. So before starting SFDX, you need to your mission need to have a uh, Salesforce CLI installed and a uh, Visual Studio Code installed on your system. And uh, uh, at this moment, I will say Salesforce is not no software at this point of time, and they will be using uh, you know softwares like uh, Visual Studio Code for Lightning Web components. Uh, it is mandatory to use uh, Visual Studio Code, and Salesforce Salesforce itself supports uh, to use Visual Studio Code. So we will uh, we will be seeing a uh, uh, Salesforce CLI and you, uh, I have provided the links here. You can go and directly download it from here and the Visual Studio Code. You can download these from here. If you go uh, uh, based on your system, I'm using Windows machine. So I'll be using uh, download for Windows 64 and uh, either uh, 36, 32 bit or 64 bit minus 64 bit. So I'll be using this and Visual Studio Code. You can uh, download the stable build from here or else you can directly go to the version 1.34. From here, you can select download either for Windows or Mac or uh, Linux or 64 bit or 32 bit based on your uh, no, machine requirements. You can download. I have already downloaded this and installed on my machine. And uh, if you want to check whether uh, Salesforce CLI is installed perfectly or not, go to your uh, command prompt, which you can do by pressing Windows button or command type CMD and click OK. So you will be having the screen. Just click SFDX. So if your uh, machine has SFDX installed properly, you can see uh, all this type of messages. If it is not, then there might be a problem with your installation. You have to do the installation again. So here our mesh, here my machine installed successfully with SFDX CLI. And uh, you can check whether uh, from the same window, you can check whether um, Visual Studio Code is installed perfectly or not. So I'll be closing this uh, just to show. Uh, you can just click a code. So it will open the Visual Studio Code on your machine. It's, it's just a shortcut for opening the Visual Studio Code from command prompt. So everything is perfectly installed on our machines and uh, we are good to go. So let me open Visual Studio Code and uh, there are some um, uh, commands which we need to learn before proceeding with Visual Studio Code. If you are already familiar with Visual Studio Code, that's fine. So in order to open a terminal here, in this case, uh, we need to, uh, as you can see the uh, commands on the screen, these are all the very helpful uh, commands. So Control Shift P to open a terminal. So like this. So here we will be using uh, already built in uh, commands to 
you know create scratch orgs and uh, to create project to create classes and everything so for now we will go and create a project oh, sfdx create project click on this one I'll give it a project name my test project hit enter so i will be selecting our desktop so okay so salesforce cli is creating a project if you can see a new window opened with uh, a folder my test project that contains dot vs code and config force app uh, some files uh, which we will go through all these files later in this uh, video series uh, for now just make sure that your once you create a project all this uh, folder should appear in your folder so we'll be having force app all these things um, so again just click on the control shift p command so now we will create a project now, now we need to authenticate first we need to or uh, log into our dev hub which is the main org uh, so we will we will go and uh, open a default org from there we will enable the dev hub org dev hub and then uh, we need to create a scratch orgs so first uh, we will go to the chrome and just see login.salesforce.com So open your developer org and uh, go to settings, go to setup. Type dev hub. so here in my org dev hub is not enabled i'm enabling it now so you can't disable the setting once you enable the dev hub you won't be able to disable it so i'm enabling the dev hub org so my dev hub org is enabled so this is my main main source org and uh, for this org i will be creating the scratch orgs so let me go back to the command prompt uh, visual studio code from here sfdx open default org click open default org uh, it will be open the open default org so as of now there are no default orgs present so uh, you won't be able to see anything so now you need to authorize the dev hub first initially uh, later you can create the scratch orgs for authorizing the uh, dev hub you need to click Control shift p and then uh, you can check for authorized dev hub so this is mandatory for every uh, uh, every org which you are going to uh, if you are going to create a scratch org first you need to authorize a dev hub so once you create a dev hub org uh, it will um, take you to the uh, chrome or the default browser you can say so from here you have to give the uh, dev hub org details once your dev hub org details is there it will ask for the access just click allow that's it uh once it authenticated successfully you can come back to your visual studio code and you can see it here uh successfully authorized site at force.com with an org id so you can close the browser for now so we don't need this browser anymore we don't need this so, so you can close it anyways and come here now uh it's time for us to create the scratch orgs so open terminal again so create a scratch or create a default scratch org select that one and the project definition file will be having what type of org you want so these details we will see it in the later section later video series for now i'm using the same project scratch definition json file uh, so i'll be giving my demo i will be giving my scratch org name as a demo scratch 
hit enter and it will be the number of days till which you want to have your scratch work so maximum is 30 days the default is 7 so i'll be going with uh, uh, 7 so as you can see uh, uh there is a command sfdx force or create uh, hyphen f uh, config and the, the definition file is taking and set alias is a demo scratch org and then uh, so it's running so let it run then I can show what exactly the command is and the same thing you can type it over here but uh, Visual Studio code, code is doing that for us so it successfully ran so you can see sfdx force org create uh, then slash f and where is the file is present that configuration file and then set alias we are setting the alias as demo scratch and the duration is seven days and it is the default username for the uh, default scratch org for our dev hub so if you come to terminal and again search for sfdx force org list so it will pop up all the all the orgs which are present which are authorized and present in this uh, so you can see uh, my dev hub is here which is sitenetforce.com and it is connected and uh, alias of demo scratch which we just created and it is present uh, this is how we create our scratch orgs by using um, visual studio code and it's time for us to create some test class some classes or some uh, components here and uh, just deploy those uh, in this uh, push and pull from the visual studio code from the local repository to our org from our org to our local repository so let's test it out so I'm going to create uh, a class here so otherwise you can use directly you can you can come to the classes and SF, uh, use this uh, button or you can again use the control shift P command and then create class create apex class you can use this so i think i made a mistake go here again create apex class uh, so give it a name my test class so give it a name and enter and it will uh, it will store in the default directory so it is currently creating a uh, apex class so it's created the apex class so now we want to move from our local repository to our scratch org so for that salesforce has already provide uh, some commands so that will be push so we are pushing the code from local repository to our salesforce scratch org instance so you can directly hit push oh, you can see sfdx push source to default scratch org and over the conflicts or sfdx force push source org to default scratch source to default scratch org. select this so currently it is doing the push so my class is successfully pushed to the scratch org if you want to check uh, if you want to check that you can check it in the um, scratch org but uh, we haven't we have we closed that the scratch org so how do you open the scratch org so for that there is a command if you go and open again so open default org sfdx open default org once you click this one whatever the org with the default so that will be opened you can you can change the default org to anything so if you have a multiple scratch orgs so you can put the default scratch org to any one of the scratch orgs so here it is open the scratch org so let's go to apex classes so here you go my test class it's created and uh, it was pushed successfully from our local repository to the salesforce instance so now we have tested in one way let's create some object or some fields in the scratch org then push the code from the salesforce instance to the local repository so new object uh, let me create a customer customers 
and then it will allow reports so all these things i'll be checked uh, make sure you have it in the deployed status and then let's save it so object is successfully created uh, let's pull the changes from the salesforce instant to the local directory so go to the visual studio code and then open the terminal again so previously we pushed the code now we have to pull the code just hit the command pull uh, sfdx pull source from the default scratcher just select this one and currently the operation is going on uh, so it is pulling the whatever the changes we have made in the scratch orgs those changes will come into the local uh, repository so it successfully ran as you can see here so customer object custom object and a layout and four profiles were present in the uh, project path here so let's so you can so you can check them here uh, the customer object is present here and then a layout a layout is present and then profiles four profiles should present yes so all the profile all the four profiles and layout and a custom object were successfully pulled from the salesforce scratch org instance to our local directly yeah, this this way we will uh, do a quick uh, push and pull uh, so that uh, we will keep the uh, both local repository and uh, our salesforce instance in sync and uh, this is the basics of sfdx for now uh, there are much more into the sfdx uh, i mean what you can do with uh, salesforce cli uh, plus uh, visual studio code there is uh, a versioning control system is also available and uh, so uh, here we can see only the deployment uh, not de not exactly the deployment source push and pull from local repository to the scratch org and scratch org to the uh, local repository but you can do the deployments to your dev hub org by using this um, which internally will be using metadata api which we will uh, we will see in the future videos and uh, yep thank you guys let me know if you have if you face any issues uh, during this uh, i'm happy to help